Friday. Here we are again, Dodson and Ross. So what's the subject? Today we're answering the number one question we get on the site, which is... Oh. How do I have an orgasm during partner sex? Oh, I know. I hear it all the time. Now listen, I understand this because here's what happened to me. I went through my 20s up to 35. Waiting. <laughs> trying to figure this one out. When I masturbated, I always ma manipulated my clitoris. When I had partner sex, I expected to come from intercourse only. Yeah, so what works during masturbation, for some reason you sub it out. <laughs> you I think could, like, oh, well, this is what works, but I'll just fuck I could, it. No, I couldn't figure out to get them together. It was, I, so that was when Grant came into the picture, and while we were having, well, while we were fucking, he reached down and started to diddle my clit, and I went, <gasps> oh my God. I've died and gone <laughs> to heaven. And it's, so it took me 35 years wow. to connect my clitoris with my vagina. This last one we got, which was... Oh, Nina, thank you. 23 years old. And what we did is she asked every question. And her one question, yes. she hit every question we ever get. She got every point that I ever hear from college girls. I know. So what we did is I took each paragraph and boiled it down to one... Do you have one the list? Do we have the list? We have the list. So I'm going to start with just okay. her questions. Okay. And we're going to go through all of it. Perfect. So thank you, Nina. Okay, here's the first question. I can only orgasm when there is very strong direct pressure on my clitoral hood with my fingers. How can I learn to come during partner sex without using so much pressure? Whenever you want to learn something new or do something new, it's all about your masturbation practice. That is how we change our patterns, that's how we learn new things. So what she needs to do is spend at least, look at the clock, spend 10 minutes doing the new version, which will be lighten up, Mm -hmm. Breathe, move your pelvis, Rock get in, yeah, right. Change your fantasies, and after ten minutes, you go, okay, pull in old faithful and get off. And that process, you know, eventually it'll go. Oh, it will take less to get her clit off. I feel something. I can do it. I can ease up. I can do it lighter. Could I have clitoral nerve damage? A tongue just doesn't bring me to orgasm. So she likes oral sex, but it never has gotten her there. It rarely got me there. I mean, and, and it's, I could feel it, but I'm, you know, throughout my 20s and 30s, it was always, I know I'm taking Well, too men long. always complain about that. My <laughs> like God. it takes forever. <laughs> and listen, the truth is, is that most women are not coming in five or 10 minutes. You know what? I read this great article, and they said that um, it takes men 10 minutes to get excited sexually. Women, uh, 10 minutes. Faster, I'll bet. No, no. Women and men get aroused in the same amount of time. They show them porn and they put the electrodes all over them. It takes them both 10 minutes to get hot. Even though women will be like, I'm not hot, but their fucking pussy is dripping yeah. to the floor. But anyway, that's a whole other topic. They found that it takes a man 10 minutes to reach climax and a woman 20. So what that means is you have to add other stimulation. It's really just a 10 minute window. I can orgasm during partner sex if I finger my clit or use a vibrator, but how can I orgasm with penetration alone? Well, welcome to the club. <laughs> Sorry just, about your luck, but. <laughs> just let it go, let it go. It's not, it shouldn't be an issue and it shouldn't be a requirement and it shouldn't be a goal to, to it's, once, once you have accustomed yourself to clitoral stimulation, you're not likely to shift over to very indirect vaginal penetration, which is very indirect clitoral. How many times have you had a sex during, uh, orgasm during partner sex? Uh, it's happened to me like a few times where it was like, whoa, without any clitoral stimulation. Five or six. I was in, in a lifetime. I was in my 20s. <laughs> I was so in love. I was so horny. I, no, it's sad. No, don't even go there. Don't. There's no. Don't expect it. And that's then when the, it happens, that's great. But don't expect it. And enjoy the orgasms you have. Yes. Yes. Don't keep on so focused on the ones you don't have. Okay. Next one. That was a very good point. It takes me 20 minutes to orgasm when I finger my clit during partner sex. How can I orgasm faster? It's just always a race, isn't it? <laughs> It's just always like, come, We're come, come. We're always trying to match our sexuality to male sexuality, and female sexuality is totally different. Mm -hmm. Get over it. We don't do what men do. Now, what men do is perfectly all right. We love you guys. Yes, and what we do is, is perfectly all right. We can so, have multiples. And, uh -huh. and it'll take us longer, so cut the race. I feel like a failure because I can't orgasm during partner sex. My lovers tell me that they made other women come, so it must be me. <laughs> That's what guys always do. But here's the mm -hmm. problem. It's not the man's fault. 
it's all of us women who have lied again and again. I've done it. Because we get tired and we're starting to chafe and we're like, oh, uh, uh, oh we do not. Uh, yeah. So we go, yes, yeah, so we go, oh, oh. We fake oh. an orgasm. <laughs> I, I have done it. You've done it. I've we, done it so well, I think I did orgasm. <laughs> I faked myself. <laughs> <laughs> After going long periods without sex, my vagina is so tight that penetration can hurt. How can I help this? Yeah, keep your vagina in shape by using... The Ta-da! vaginal barbell. <laughs> Stick it in. Yeah. It lube it up. In. Lube it up. Lube it up. Squeeze your muscles around it. You'll yeah. see it moving yeah. like this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is the ultimate keep your pussy in shape. shape. You have to exercise your pussy. Just like any other part of your body. It weighs like a pound. It stays in. You can use either ends. And then you just stick it in the dishwasher. I love this thing. I know. It's, it, it's a good one. I say separate clitoral stimulation from vaginal penetration. Two separate toys. And what that does is it's more, it's better preparation for intercourse. Did you see the new entry to the General Art Gallery? I didn't show you yet. <gasps> it's a woman with the barbell inserted, and she's got the uh, gold oscillator on her clit. Ooh la la. And it's already gotten three comments. People are going crazy. Gold That's what you need to oh. do, girl. <laughs> you need to oh my God. penetrate, squeeze your muscles, stimulate your clit. You're golden. Yes, absolutely. Okay, our final question. Will a partner ever be able to make me come? Well, that's that whole thing of I want my lover to make me come. We actually are all responsible for our own mm-hmm. orgasms. Now, do you think a guy is sitting in there saying, I want you to make me come? He's just going to get in there and get what he wants. He's going to do what he needs to do and, and get off. And get off, right. <laughs> yeah. So we have to think the same way. We, when, During partner sex, we're going to get what we want to get off, and that usually means, in terms of my experience and what I teach, is that women need to control their own clitoris. And know that that we each own our own orgasms. I am the author and the creator of my orgasm, and I love it. Go for it.